All right, guys, so I randomly just sort of thought of this idea, put it down on the notes of my phone, and I want to see what's going to happen. So I made this team called the Edmonton Bulls. They basically have, I think, McDavid, Nurse, and that's about it. And yeah, they have a forward and a defenseman, and then nothing else. And I put the rest of the, the players are just free agents. So basically, I want to see what the AI can do with this team in five years' time. So we're going to go ahead and pick a different team. And it's going to be kind of like my career sims where I'm just going to not, I'm putting everything on my team auto. My team doesn't matter. We're going to strictly focus on what this team does. So I've chosen Carolina just because So I'm going to turn off owner mode and I'm going to do auto auto. Yes, please. Head coach, edit my lines, player morale. I will leave that on, but turn off meetings and auto. Well, I guess, yeah, we're not doing owner modes. So that doesn't matter. But anyway, time to go turn some more stuff off so that we can fly through the simulation. All right, let's jump into this franchise mode five years. So I know that one time I did a whole, I think it was Connor McDavid career simulation in one sitting. And that's when I realized that's not going to work. Can't do it that way anymore. So I changed it up. I'm pretty sure he was the first one that I ever did a career sim on. But anyway, this only five years should be doable in under an hour, I would think. So yeah, it's not too bad. I suppose they could even sign some free agents, you know, like some of the good free agents right now. But anyway, let's go sim to the regular season and then we'll go have a look at their team. I don't need to like, you know, not show my team or anything like I normally do for the career sim because we are focused on that team, but it doesn't really matter what my team is, which it doesn't anyway, but it's just kind of irrelevant to the whole career sim thing. So let's go check out Edmonton's roster, shall we? The Edmonton Bulls. So here we go. They got Benson, so pretty much they called up their AHL guys, is what I'm getting from this. And then McDavid, so yeah, not good. Not a good team, guys. On defense, they got Nurse, and then no one else, really. The guy that almost got his finger chopped off by Crosby, I think that's who it was. And Stewie Skinner, there it is. So, year one. Probably not going to be too successful for them, but, you know, they've got... A few years to pick it up. I'm not even really going to do milestones. I'll just check them at the end of the year and see sort of where they are at that point. And then we'll do another check-in when the season starts. So yeah, pretty much that's going to be my objective is just to check in twice a year almost when the year starts and when the year ends. I think it's pretty safe to say that the Bulls should finish last in the league. They have 20 points right now, so they are struggling, which is expected. I wonder how much... That's going to affect McDavid's overall, or if he's still going to light it up, which probably. We actually just lost to them. All right. That's awesome. I can totally see the lottery screwing them over too, and they end up getting, like, pick five or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we beat the Bulls there, as you can see, 6-2. So we are, I think, 1-1 one one against them right now. They're probably going to be a big-time threat when it comes to the free agent market, because they are... Definitely gonna have some money. All right, Carolina didn't make the playoffs. Great, love that. Okay, the Boston Bruins won the cup in year one. Am I even gonna bother checking awards? Maybe. Well, we could just go through them quick, but most importantly, I wanna see what's going on with their roster. So, Sveshnikov was 68. All right, cool. So, they did finish in last by a pretty significant margin. So, yeah, 26 points separated them from the Senators. They had 19 wins, 59 losses, and four overtime losses. That... It's not good, but we can go have a look at their player stats anyway, just to see. Oh, there's going to be a lot of dashes. That's for sure. Okay, well, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, he still put up 78 points and he's still 96 overall. So that's good. Benson actually went up to 81, I guess, from those first line minutes. So yeah, they sort of, you know, they got some decent players coming up here. Their overalls are going up. Darnell Nurse went up one overall, even though he was a dash 32, put up 43 points. All right, very interesting. So there you go. There is the year one stats for the Bulls. And an 888, 892. I really wouldn't expect anything different. Okay. Decent. I'm not... Should I bother checking the entire league stats? I guess I could just show you guys real quick in case anyone is curious about that. So let's go to the entire league. And that's all you're getting. All right? Boom. There it is. I'll just buzz through the awards here because I know you guys usually find some pretty interesting stuff with the awards, but if there's no bulls, then I am just going to keep going. All right, there wasn't. So anyways, let's sim to next season and see what they end up doing with that team. If they pick up anyone from free agency or if they make some trades, who knows? We're going to find out. Oh, they actually got the first overall pick. All right, all right, all right, cool. I'm actually going to stop the sim. I want to see who they end up taking. So let's continue. 
And let's actually jump into the draft because I'm curious to see. Oh, I went over it apparently. All right. Oh, no, no. It's the next one. That was retirement. I take it back. Begin. Who shall they take? It's probably going to be a very, very talented player, I would imagine. Maybe someone by the name of... Okay. He's an offensive defenseman, 80 overall, with medium elite. So there wasn't any franchise, it doesn't look like. No, they got Asplund there. Sim pick. All right. Well, doesn't really look like the strongest draft. I'm actually just going to view the free agents list just to see who... Wow, there is definitely some decent players here. So hopefully they make some money moves. And uh, let's go to goalies. I was the wrong one there. So yeah, there's some good goalies here too. So let's see what they end up doing. And if anybody even wants to sign with them. All right, the grand reveal for year two. Landis Cog landed on the Ducks. But let's check out the Edmonton Bulls here. So they got Hoffman and Sod. All right, that's two forward pickups there. So they got these two guys to be McDavid's wingers now. So, you know, he's got something to work with there now. They got Falk, Savard, Hainsey. They picked up some decent players here. Did they get a goalie? That's a big question. They got Craig Anderson and Calvin. All right, so... Yeah, they're looking a little bit better, but it's definitely a work in progress. All right, our first matchup with the Bulls, we take them down 3-1. But, you know, that's not like a uh, destruction or anything. We didn't destroy them. So let's see. They might honestly not even finish last this year, which would be impressive. Yeah, the Bulls are currently fifth in their division right now. So they are already improving quite a bit. This is very interesting, honestly. I'm having... A good time with this one. Also, if this is sort of like a thing you guys want me to make a series, like what would the AI do with this team in five years sort of thing, then leave other suggestions down below. And if you have suggestions for other stats and other things you want me to look at as we're going through the simulation, let me know. But this is just sort of a trial run, you know? It's I had the idea and I'm just kind of running with the, the very general premise right now. But if there's more specifics and more details you guys want, then go ahead and let me know. But... I do like the idea of five years. You know, they have five years to do it. So we'll do five full things. Year six is where we'll call it. At least Carolina's doing a little bit better this year. That's good. The regular season has ended. We made the playoffs. The Bulls did not, which is very expected. I mean, it's only year two of their journey, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and see where they finish. I don't think it was last, so they definitely... Did better than last year. Year two is complete. The Pity Pens are Stanley Cup champions. So let's go have a look at the stats and see if any other additions were made to the team. I doubt that they were, but we can have a look anyway. And I'm also very curious to see where they finished in the standings because I'm almost positive, like I was saying, that it's not last. They were doing pretty good, actually, floating sort of towards the middle bottom of the division, but maybe they really fell off. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they finished 27th. With 78 points, 37, 41, and 4. Wow. Good for you. They've honestly turned this ship around a lot faster than I thought they would. 103 points from McDavid. Sod puts up 75. Where's... Where the heck is Hoffman? Hello? Did... I don't know. Maybe because the year ended and the contracts are all up, they disappear now. I'm not sure how that works, but... Anyway. Apparently he's gone. And if we go to goalies, I think I kind of remember that, actually. I, I might have to check before playoffs to see what the team looks like then. So, he got a 909 save percentage. Oh, my word. Let's go, Craig. 81 overall. Legend. I'm assuming that no trophies are going to be won for this squad here. But it's worth looking anyways. And no, nothing. Ovi with the Rocket Richard. And I guess uh, just quickly look at the playoff tree. Get a little glance, even though they did not end up participating. So Edmonton went from 5 to 6. So that's not bad. They still have a pretty high pick there. And I didn't even see if that guy was on their team. I sort of forgot to look. But anyway, let's go see who they draft this time around. Columbus gets, okay, Habby Boulin and Aikson. I'm just kidding. It's probably Akison. But anyway, let's keep going here. And they are pick number 6. So next up. Will they get another medium elite or will they be the first top six? They get a medium elite. Lambert at 76 overall. Center playmaker. Okay, decent. Looking at the list of free agents here again, there appears to be... Actually, you know what? Let's go to UFA because, yeah, it's going to make a difference. But anyway, there's still some good players here. 9.4 million for 86 overall. Okay, 
Well, anyway, Hoffman's back here, so that is probably why. Let's have a quick look at how many points he got, though. So he did pretty good. What is that? 60... Am I way off? I'm, not... I'm trying to do quick math here. It's like low 60s. I know that. 63, I think. But anyway, let's. I could have just gone here and avoided that whole thing. Um, all right. Not even... Wait. Hold on. Oh, he found his way over to Montreal. I guess they traded him. Okay. I don't know what they traded him for, but he got traded. And there is also some decent goaltenders here. So, yeah, that's a thing. Let's go. Let's see what they do next year. All right, it's about that time again. Let's see who Edmonton has on their roster this season. Did they pick up any free agents? We know they made a trade. Don't know what for. They got Victor Olofsson, Niederreiter, Donato, Trocek, and Saad. They could actually do decent this year with this team. On defense, they have... Oh, here's that guy. The draft pick. So, yeah, he's already up at 83 overall. And they have Broberg as well. Nurse with Falk. Savard, Hainsey. Oh, man. They're actually going to be all right. And then they got Brian Elliott and Rodrigue in the net. Truthfully, if they make the playoffs this year, I will not be surprised. That was a quick turnaround for them. And the Bulls did make the playoffs this year. Okay, well... Before the playoffs start, let's go look at their stats in the team standings now, uh, instead of doing it after, because that way, we will get their whole team. So, here is the standings. Where did Edmonton finish in the entire league? Probably somewhere near the middle. Yeah, they finished 13th. 93 points, 45 wins. I also think I forgot to show the whole league stats last time, but whatever. We got McDavid with 99, Olofsson at 90, Trocek put up 70, Benson put up 65, he's up to 84 now. Saad put up 64, this is just shocking, honestly. What about their tendies? Their chicken tendies. Elliot, 38, 23 at 2 with a 904, up at 81. What a legend. Here's the entire league, I'll just once again go over it very briefly. So there's the goalies, and here is the skaters. So there you have it. McDavid was second in the league. Nice. The Bulls got a first round exit, I just witnessed that. Vancouver puts them out, but at least they made it. Chicago takes home the Stanley Cup. Alright, well let's go and have ourselves... A quick look here at the awards, and is my game frozen, or is my controller dying? Apparently neither. Uh, let's go to awards, have a quick look. So Chicago, Tampa, yep, there we go. Not even gonna read them, I'm just gonna scroll through the- Oh! There it is, Lady Bing goes to Olofsson. So they got an individual trophy at least, and there you have it. And a quick look at the playoff tree as well, for anyone that might be curious. So here we go. They did get wiped in the first round by Vancouver in six games. And that would be year three in the books. Let's head into year number four and see if they will continue their success and continue building up that team around McDavid. I don't even think... Yeah, there's no point of going into the draft anymore because they're not going to have a very good pick anyway. All right, the second last year here and Trevor Zegris. There he is. a boy. Anyway, let's go to the Edmonton Bulls and see what they have for this year. They got Olofsson at 88, McDavid, Niederreiter, Saad. Doesn't look too much different. They do have this Lambert guy that they drafted, so he's now on the third line. I don't think Vitrano was there last year. He might have been. I don't remember Donato either, but it's possible. And Benson. So they have a pretty good team now. They got this guy's up at 86, Falk and Broberg, Edler and Savard. All right, they have a decent goalie. Oh, they got Jari this time too. Yo, they could, they could go on a run here. If I had to make a prediction right now, I would say they're definitely making the playoffs. And the playoffs are so, you know, unpredictable. But I, I could see them doing very well in the playoffs as well. So let's just wait and see what happens. But I suspect good things from them. So I get a quick glimpse down there of them every now and again. They're probably winning the President's Trophy from what I just saw. Which is wild. But yeah, four years in. They are killing it. Let's go to the standings here. Have a quick look at everything just to see if my assumption there is correct. They definitely won their division. But 114 points seems like, yep, they right up there with Vancouver. They're right up there. So, boom, 55 wins and 114 points. That is craziness. McDavid has 104 points this year. Olofsson with 95. So, these two are just Killing it. He's at 98 overall. That's absurd. That is Tino Manny right there. Trocek at 87. Donato's at 85. Niederreiter's at 85. Saad's at 85. This guy's at 87 now. Holy crap. Lambert's up to 81. 
All right, so yeah, they are definitely, all of a sudden, just a complete force. 36, 13, and 2, 9, 20, 2, 43. Incredible. Let's go have a look at the entire league here. Boom. And let's see. So Allmark, 68 games and 42 wins for Detroit. And 18 losses. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's check out the skaters real quick here. We have the Art Ross going to Tyler Sagan. And probably the Rocket Richard as well with 55 goals. Let's sim the playoffs and see what happens here. They might even take the cup this year. But they have one more year to prove themselves after this. Not that they have much to prove anymore. But you know what I mean. They're up against the Canucks. Oh my, they made it through. They're in the conference finals. Alright, keep the simulation going. It's 1-1 one, one between them and Chicago. 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, 3-3. They made it to the finals. They're going to do it, aren't they? They're going to do it. Two game sevens, and they end up taking it home. Year four, and the Edmonton Bulls win themselves the Stanley Cup. Well then, that just happened. Well, let's check out some of the awards here. We knew that one, we knew that one, and we knew that one. So I guess if you give a computer one good player, or I guess two good players, and, you know, a team around them that sucks then they will create a wagon in approximately four years' time. Let's check out the playoff tree, even though I was basically following the whole thing anyway, so I am familiar, but there it is. That's what went down. I'm not even going to bother looking at who's on free agents market this year because, yeah, they literally just won the Presidents and the Stanley Cup. I don't think it really matters to them, but let's see if they can win back-to-backs now. Let's see what they look like this year. Ooh, Anaheim. Look at them go. But anyway, let's have a look at the Bulls once more here. So they got Olofsson at 89 Niederreiter, McDavid, Trocek, Comfer. The team looks very similar, actually. They are missing Benson and Vitrano, I think it was. Defense, this guy's up at 89 now. Really good defense here. And in net, they've got Jari at 86 and Dredger at 80. Yeah, they could go on another run here. The Bulls don't appear to be as much as a powerhouse this year, um, but... I don't know why I can't English, by the way, as much as a powerhouse, as much of a powerhouse. I don't know what happened to me, but I, whenever this thing right here is on, I don't know how to speak. So that's always fun. So the Bulls did make the playoffs. That is true. That is a fact, as we just saw there. But let's go ahead and see where they finished in terms of season standings and how well their individual players did so oh we actually ended up getting the presidents this year i wasn't even really paying attention to us but anyway let's look for edmonton here there they are they finished 10th 99 points 44 wins so not nearly as good as last year but still a good year nonetheless and if we look at the individual stats i think mcdavid's probably still gonna put up a decent amount of points that wouldn't be a surprise to anybody i don't think he gets 103 maybe another art ross Olofsson with 82, he's still 88, he's 97, uh, this guy's up to 90 now, Trocek with 67, alright, let's just see who got the least amount for curiosity's sake, Ekholm and Broberg tied there, goaltenders, we've got Jari with a 902, 299, and 34 wins, uh, Dredger's got a 904, 275, and 10 wins in 20 games, which, I mean, he only had 5 and 2, so, anyway, Let's go at the entire league. He probably had to come in in relief for Jari. And that's how that happens, I think. But anyway, Ulmark again with 47 wins for Detroit. And he played 71 games. That's quite a lot of games. Let's have a look. Ooh, Spencer Knight. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go to all skaters. And let's see if McDavid... No, Eichel bested him by one. He got 104. And Eichel also probably got the Rocket Richard. President's Trophy first round exit. That's got to be it, right? That's, that's how it works. That's how it always works. It's got to be how it works this time around as well. Yep, there it is. Got to love it. And I think the Bulls also had a first round exit. So they still built a pretty good team and ended up winning a cup in the first five years. But unfortunately, they did not have a great fifth year. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. They made the playoffs. So they did something right, but... It can't be compared to last year. Columbus is going to win the Stanley Cup this time around. Let's go have a look at the awards and let's have a look at the playoff tree to conclude this video. So the awards, we've got Columbus as we know. Yep, we knew that. There you have it. Individual, we got Eichel, McDavid, and then Brandstrom. Okay, let's go through these quick. Look for the bull. Do I see a bull? I do. McDavid with the Ted Lindsay. Okay. And the playoff tree to finish it off. 
So yeah, if you have any other stipulations, like, oh, let's see how this team does in five years or something like that, let me know. Or if you have sort of a spin-off idea to this, I'll, I'm all ears. Let me know. It's just something I randomly thought of, decided I would try to make it work and just see what would happen. So yeah, there you have it. The computer built an absolute powerhouse out of that team, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, suggestions, anything like that. And yeah, I'll uh, see you soon.